Okay, we got round two. We're playing against Echo. Um, they are on Sable. Uh, and I think I should keep this just because it has two bits of ice. I think I'm going to keep. I've seen worse. Sable Lift is actually annoying. It has two magnets very easily. I'll keep it. Um, okay, uh, that's probably fine. So I think we just go HQ, R&D, take a credit. Be all right. Okay, they're likely to poke R&D here. It might not. Um, <clears throat> question is, are they going to be on our favorite console? Um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. I think we can just gamble, take a credit. Um, no, let's let's not take a credit. Let's ice up our spin doctor. Feels incorrect, but I think I think we might we might even extract the spin doctor next turn. Because we can, we can write really pop up with money by putting the Yakov in. Okay, yeah, they've got some stuff going on. Uh, this is where I'd like a one cost piece of ice, which I don't have. Um, oh, we don't want to draw that. That's annoying. So maybe I want to extract that. Could put it on archives. Hmm. It's a bit of a pain. Draw one. Okay. I think we put this on server one. And I think we might just. Hmm. No, next turn I'm going to like put down the Yakov, extract this, be able to shuffle it back, and take credit. This feels like a really weird play. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, I'm going to get divergent here. I guess I pop back money wise pretty well. Um, I definitely need to start trying to stick. I need to stick one of these Rashidas pretty, pretty soon. Okay, they are going to have all the money in the world. And they have a shibboleth, so they can get through here. Can't get, can't really get through here yet. Ah, Spin Doctor, you're not really what I want here. So maybe I extract the Spin Doctor. Let's res you. We'll extract the Spin Doctor. Ob. No. We'll put you in the new remote. Oh, yeah. I have one less click than I thought. Mm -hmm. If they just run HQ three times here, then that's going to be pretty bad for me. Um, so maybe this was wrong they're running archives uh so they're probably getting down their century breaker right 
otherwise they're just yeah okay or a, or a turtle turtle is a card um so we have wrap around we're gonna have to ice up r and d uh i think i was meant to trash this happen which i didn't do um Uh, so we'll Yakov, we won't do Ob. Um, wow. Um, not finding what we want here. Finding a lot of spin doctors. Do I put out a spin doctor in res? I think the half the rotor turret is probably only going to be good on the remote. Mm. This feeling. Uh, I guess I can pop this and then at least get a virus at some point. I've got one there. Let's put this on HQ. I'm going to put this in server one. Put this in server one. I'm going to find some answers, hopefully. <laughs> Get in here quite easily. Um, the fact that I'm this far in and haven't scored an agenda yet, I also don't have anything resed, which I'm going to need. Like, this is getting very hard for me now. Um, I need stuff resed so I can trash stuff. Yakov's done a lot of work, but uh, no. Okay. So here, what tricks do we have available? Not many. Do I just kind of let them come in and spend some money? Um, I definitely wish I had the half run back in the deck. It's not going to be great with Roto Turret. How have I not found any viruses yet? Wow. Wow. Shibboleth is just going to eat through stuff here as well. Uh, I, might, I guess I just put... I don't need the money, which is, like, nice. Like, I don't have to worry too much about diversion. Uh, if they slap down a Hermes, then I've got to worry quite a lot. Um, this feels very unsafe. So I'm going to need to shovel back in at least a Spin Doctor. So I don't need this. Do I shovel back in like the other Spin Doctor? Might be correct. I think I shuffle back in one of his agendas, obviously. Um, probably the Oak Town. Might need to find Zeta Grid stat. They're gonna have pinholes though. Uh, do I want to let them get in here? It means I get to res some ice. I will have something to potentially 
refresh. Get me a one coster. Doesn't actually help. Um I will res. Like there's very little point in us just purging next turn, but it'll be tempting. Uh, so here we'll get back Spinny and the agenda. I'm going to need to really... Oh, I also needed to shuffle back a half run though. Rubbish. Okay, I'm potentially in some. I'm in a tricky situation. Can I just make this happen? Install double advance. see they might try and get no they're probably just going to slap down a barrier breaker oh they even got a click back from that mm -hmm. yeah Hermes problematic wheels okay um so we're trashing the turtle here i think right annoyingly they probably have more turtles but i think we need to so let's res a chicana we will Score. SDS. Get rid of this. Um, I might just put a border control on archives, to be honest. They're going to start hammering R&D now. Can't get through this border control. Do we just put a wrap around on the server? Do we put border control on HQ? we put an envelopment somewhere so that we can potentially trash the Carmen next turn. Mm -hmm. Should have raised the Vogo if that was the case. Put an envelopment on HQ. They bounce nice, the hand. Oh, we should have rested the Bogo. Uh, maybe that's fine. As long as they didn't put Sneak Door down. Right. We're now actually a little short on money. I think we get rid of this, and we probably do get rid of this for now. Uh, 
Um, so they're likely on more than one turtle, which is a shame. They're going to have like a gajillion clicks at some point. There's their uh, barrier breaker. Could be problematic. Get into R and D very cheap now. Um, I want to res another border control here. I think we do. I think we don't res the magnet. I think unfortunately they probably steal here. This is too hard to end the runs. We actually needed that, that NGO money quite badly, I think. They might want to go. Yeah, R&D here. I think I would. They've really got more money than we think, but I think that's fine. If we stick the Takana, wow, they're going for it. Just for one. So they do get another bounce. They now have a rather small amount of cash. Oh, I couldn't have bounced a hacker, I suppose. Would have been nice. But they have more than we think, again. This only costs them two. This costs basically nothing. Uh, we lost both our NGO fronts, which are our best sort of form of money. On the remote. Um, Magna is more annoying to deal with now, so that's worth noting. Stavka, how do they break this? Um, boost, boost, so it costs them like six. Some six. Put that in server one. And then I think we just overwrite the half run so that we can shimmy it back into our deck. Um, so we'll put the Stavka here. I kind of feel like I might just get ripped on here. Yeah, GG. Okay. Went badly. Table. I don't know, why am I 33?
yeah, the Hermes was the Hermes was big. I just had a really like great money start and just not drawing not drawing the agendas. R plus mm, definitely don't feel great about this opening hand. This is not hugely that much better. Um, at least it's got a gamble. Okay, they're on your digital life, so they're probably not sort of assets. They're probably just looking to jam out in the server. I'm going to be glad I've got my hush. Okay, a bit of protective play. This down, we can click it once, and we can play one of these and get a lat draw. The reasonable start. Uh, Priest, it could be good for trashing spin doctors and stuff like that. Um, I think we probably get our lily pad on the go. Do this. So it takes us to five cards. We play this, we're still at five cards. Um, we'll draw in case we draw like oh that's better we'll just play that <clears throat> and we draw a card with that I was going to like telework click telework but I think this is okay we do just want to keep a bit of money up here so that we're ready to check for remote okay they are building a remote so it might be a money, money, money turn. Let's like put down a Parisia to draw a card. Hit this. So we either hit this, click it once, and click for credit. Or we play a gamble, we draw. Um Finding a symbol chip would be really good. Off the symbol chip. Um, but we could use it to pull a hush on the opponent's turn. I think just getting this down, getting the draw is probably fine. We can likely check for remote. Free ice. Feels a bit rough. So we're kind of assuming seamless launch. Do I want to pop off a SMC on our turn? On their turn? No. Mm -hmm. Would love to find Simul Chip. Okay. Uh, having the cleaver in hand is actually really a bit awkward. Don't really need the turbine here. Got some draw going off lily pads now. So I think I just put this down so that I potentially get um, draw. I think I can get rid of the K2 CP, I can get rid of the Atman and I guess I throw out Nuka. I'm going to draw here. Probably going to draw on their turn. Nah, that's a shame, but at least I can recover reasonably well. Okay, so let's just focus on, like, not losing the game. Uh, 
Uh, next turn we can slap down the cleaver and run, probably, like we overclock in. Maybe should have installed something on their turn. Probably an echelon. It's always the risk of drawing a card there, to be quite honest. All right, let's see what they got. Um, obviously, this could be an NGO front, which means it could res some nasty ice. But I think we're okay with that. We have two clicks to clear up to two tags. Oh, sorry, I thought they were. Like, could consider preemptively hushing one of these, but I think it's incorrect. We can deal with Starlit Knight. We can deal with BSA. So this comes in at the right strength, which is nice because we've already got two breakers. The last card's a VSA, and we probably pulled the Hush rather than the Buzzsaw. Uh, they would have to pop. Okay, so we do steal a Bologna. Um, we can click. So they could predictive thinking. Exactly predictive, click for a credit and then give us four tags. I don't think they can do anything else in their turn. So I think we can risk it. We might even... No, let's not put a card down because we get a free card draw <laughs> instead. Um, I think we'll go back through and check this. Probably pop this one off first. Whether we overclock. I'm going to overclock because if they don't res, then I think I'm going to pull a hush onto HQ, then Fenris and run HQ, which could be risky actually last turn. Maybe that's wrong. I guess just pulling the buzzsaw here is probably makes more sense. Yeah, maybe just pull in the bus saw. I will trash that using this money. We can take some money. We'll just gain a credit. We'll keep nice and ahead of them in terms of tempo. We're potentially ahead enough to consider looking at a conduit play here. Okay, they echo us. Understandable. Uh, so it's whether we float one tag here. 
Oh, they've only given us the two tags. I think we do go and check this, right? Slight chance that we jack out here. In case this is exactly an oracle think tank. I'm gonna risk it. Okay. We'll remove a tag. Um that's probably both of their artificial crypto crashes. So we could take it a little bit easier now. Maybe. Uh, maybe we get another fermenter ticking up. Oh, no free lunch is excellent. Hmm. Oh, we can also deep dive, right? Next turn, I think a deep dive is very worth it, especially as I've got this now. So maybe we just go. We can go tasks, creative, draw a card. Hmm. <clears throat> It's just whether we actually want to get a peach chant peak peak chant down first. Their agenda suite could be annoying one pointers. Which we might not even want we probably don't even want to steal off a deep dive because we end up with tag. Uh which we can clear. So I guess the simul chip uh, it's maybe better there. Um, they dump stuff into archives, likely to be Oracle think tanks, and I'm going to run it because then I feel like I could probably safely deep dive for the win. So I'll only need to steal one more. And I just need to have five, five points when, uh, five credits when that happens. Oh, interesting. Well, I think we definitely start by going here. Let's sort of do a little preemptive test on what some of this ice is. Mm -hmm. It's good to know so that we don't accidentally put a peach chon on it. Do we go and just keep them keep them honest in this server? Double seamless of Bologna would be a play. Let's try R and D. Okay, so now I think we can deep dive. 
we just need to find one more one pointer we can clear one tag they draw two Um, pretty decisive run of games, both sides, um, really. Um, um, yeah, I don't know if there's much to say. Um, this was just us controlling the remote. Once we've got all of our breakers out, then um, then our ice doesn't do too much. We've got a little bit of um, tech here as well, um, and our draw felt great. You know, we didn't we didn't use half of our draw. Uh, once you've got the lily pad down, um, I'm really liking it um, in terms of a draw engine. Um, I know people are a bit more keen on Anicam in general, um, but I've found that the potential to I don't know I think the draw is is about the same and you and you have to play less MU cards like I'm only playing one DZMZ and I still have enough MU for, for my whole rig most of the time um so I am certainly enjoying it um yeah not too much to say there that just felt like the first game got away from us a little bit and the second game was far more on track. Uh, I will see you for round three.